I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you solution of a question from my subscriber Raymond. Raymond, thanks a lot for a few excellent questions. I'll make an attempt to solve them so that you can understand. Uh, this question is really very interesting. The question here is find the reflection of the point A31 in the line L with the equation 2x minus y equals to 0. Use your answer to find the reflection in L of the line x minus y minus 2 equals to 0. So there are two parts to this. I will prefer to have used uh, proper graph paper for this kind of a question. Uh, however, as you know, I work with very rough sketches. So let me continue in my own way. So <clears throat> what we have here is find the reflection of point A. We are given point A as 3, 1. We have to reflect it on a line L whose equation is 2x minus y equals to 0, which you could also write as y equals to 2x, right? That makes things very simple. y equals to 2x will be a straight line going through the origin. So let's make this slope is twice. So let's make a line which is kind of like this. Okay. So let's say this is our line y equals to 2x. Okay. We have a point 3, 1. So let's take a point somewhere here. Say this point is point A, which is 3, 1. When we say find reflection of the point A in line L, so that's the line L, okay, in line L, it really means that treat it as a mirror. So when you treat this as a mirror, you will see an image, right, so of this point on the other side, which will be same distance away, which will be same distance away, correct? So let me call that image point as A dash, right, so that's a nomenclature we normally write a dash for the image and that is has to be the shortest distance right perpendicular lines so and let me call this point right in the middle as M okay. so what we have here is a line L point a its image a dash when you connect them then you form a line which is perpendicular to the given line right so we can write the equation of this perpendicular line. Uh, now, since you are doing vectors, I'll use the scalar form of the line. To get the perpendicular line, let's say L2. Let's say L2. Let me write L perpendicular. We just used to swap these coefficients, right? So that be x will be coefficient 1. And coefficient of y will become uh, negative or whatever it is but replaced by 2 so plus 2y equals to 0 so that becomes the line which is perpendicular you can check uh, with dot product of these two normals you will get 0 right so that is how you get perpendicular line now this perpendicular line could go through any point and therefore what we do is we write this as plus c equals to 0. Do you understand? Now it goes through the point A. To make it that specific, we'll replace x and y with the value 3 and 1, and then find c, right? So x is 3 for us. So we get 3 plus 2 times 1 plus c equals to 0. So that is 5 and so c is equals to minus 5 right so you get c as minus 5 and you could write this equation as uh, as x plus 2y <coughs> minus 5 equals to 0 right so that becomes the equation of this line now let us find the midpoint first midpoint is intersection of these two lines right so let me rearrange this we have x plus 2y equals to 5 that is the perpendicular line the original line is 
y equals to 2x or or 2x minus y so if I substitute y equals to 2x I can find x correct so that's what I will do so I'll do x plus 2 times and instead of y I will write here 2x 2x so I can find the point of intersection m so that gives me x plus 4x equals to 5 and 5x equals to 5 or x is equals to 1 5 divided by 5 since I know x is 1 I could always find uh, y y is twice x so so y equal 2 times 1 is 2 so that's the value of y is it okay so we get our point of intersection here so let me continue so we have m let me write this as point of intersection okay so we have point of intersection m as 1 2 <clears throat> okay so once we have point of intersection we can find a dash right because it is same distance away so let us say the point for a dash is hk right let's give it a name we know the midpoint now we need to find end point of the segment so what we'll do here is uh, we'll find a dash which is hk for us using the midpoint formula so average of these two that is h plus 3 divided by 2 should be equals to the x value of m that will give us the value of h right so that gives you let's cross multiply h plus 3 equals to 2 h equals to 2 minus 3 and so h equals to minus 1 so we got one coordinate let's find the other one okay uh, the other one will be average value of their y's so k plus 1 divided by 2 should be equals to 2 2 times 2 is 4 so k plus 1 equals to 4 k equals to 4 minus 1 and k equals to 3 so the point a dash which is our image point is minus 1 3 is it okay so we have done first part that is find reflection of point A in the line A with the equation this and we can write this as A dash is minus 1 3 does make sense to you right? <clears throat> now the second part of this equation is use your answer to find reflection of L in the line X minus Y minus 2 now how do we do that part so that is what we have to think about so let's take this up in the in a fresh page now let's do the second part of this question the question is find the reflection of point a 3 1 in the line L with the equation 2x minus y equals to 0 so we found the reflection of point a and I'm just writing that value here it was coordinate point minus 1 3 right? now we'll work on the question use your answer to find reflection in L of the line X minus Y minus 2 now reflection in L let me write down the equation of the, oh it's already written 2x minus Y that's correct perfect so let us sketch this and understand uh, the situation that is very important uh, you should do it in a proper graph paper once you do it you actually get your answer you can see the answer on your graph paper itself so I'll make a rough sketch to understand the situation the line L is 2x minus y so that is y equals to 2x so it'll be a line going through the origin let's say this is your line that is our line L and the point A and its reflection we found uh, which are the coordinate points so let me just sketch uh, here a perpendicular line and mark these two ends as A and A dash so we have A 
which is uh, 3 1 for us as given to us and a dash which we just calculated as minus 1 3 <coughs> so that is a situation which we have from part a now part b is use your answer to find a reflection in l of the line x minus y minus 2 okay so let's try to understand this line when we say x minus y minus 2 uh, it means let me rewrite this as x minus y equals to 2 so we'll sketch this line first the x intercept will be 2 and y intercept will be so so it goes through the point x intercept will be 2 that means 2 0 and y intercept will be minus 2 right or you can say if I write x as 0 I get minus 2 so with these two points I should be in a position to get the line second let me also check if point 3 1 lies on this right so if I substitute 3 and 1 here for x and y so if x let's check if x lies if x a is on x minus y minus 2 equals to 0 so if I substitute 3 here minus 1 minus 2 I do get 0 that means a lies on our line so if you sketch on the graph paper then this point a lies and we have an x and y intercept of 2 0 0 2 so somewhere here and there so let me just sketch this kind of like this okay so that becomes the line which we are talking about of course the lines extend to infinity that makes sense so this point is minus 2 and that point is 2 for us now when I say that reflection of this line on that line now, since these two are the reflected points correct that means the reflection should also go through the point a dash <coughs> so so this line now becomes the reflected line right so that is the reflection reflected line so as you can clearly see we need to have this point of intersection let's call this point as p we already know a dash from our previous uh, calculations so once I find point of intersection between L which is y equals to 2x and this line uh, we should get the equation of the reflected line correct so that's the approach perfect so what we are doing to do now is as you can see the strategy here is find point of intersection uh, between the two lines which are y equals to 2x and this is x minus y minus 2 equals to 0 purposely I'm using y equals to 2x because I'll substitute and get the value so <laughs> okay you could do elimination also so what we get here is x minus I'm replacing y with 2x minus or taking 2 to the other side we'll do it now so we get minus x minus 2 equals to 0 or we get x equals to minus 2 now if x is minus 2 then y is equals to 2 times minus 2 that is minus 4 so this point here will be at minus 2 uh, minus 4 correct so that is how we get point P so since we know P it looks like a vertical line here but it's not really this is minus 1 right this point is minus 1 x value this is minus 2 so it's a positive slope is that okay very steep though okay so now the question is to get the equation of line through two points one is a dash which is minus 1 3 and the other is point P which is the intersection of these two lines right line L and uh, the other line uh, which is minus 2 minus 4 so now you could write the equation of this line 
if you want to write this in vector form you can say or in vector form it will be take any two points let me take minus 1 3 uh, plus let's say t times <laughs> difference in these values so we'll do this minus that so it give me 1 this minus that and 3 minus 4 will give me 7 so t17 becomes your equation of the line in vector form uh, or if you want to for the other students who want to write y equals to mx plus b form they can find the slope here so we know alternately let me write down alternately <coughs> we know we'll use y equals to mx plus b so in this particular case so not going to vectors now switching over so y2 minus so 7 i'm sorry actually it is it is the slope is 7 right uh, okay so so it will do let's do 3 minus let's do now 3 minus minus 4 divided by minus 1 minus minus 2 that gives us 7 and so we get equation y equals to 7x plus b to get the value of b we'll substitute our point which is minus 1 and 3 so 3 equals to minus 7 plus b and b equals to when you take it on this side 3 plus 7 which is 10 and therefore the equation will be y equals to 7x plus 10 is it okay so that becomes the the equation y equals 7x plus 10 in slope intercept form if you do not want to write the vector equation which we wrote here you could write uh, the scalar equation or your standard equation as uh, 7x bringing y to that side minus y plus 10 equals to 0 right so that could be your answer or, or what we wrote here in the vector form I hope that really helps feel free to write down your comments and share your views I'm very thankful to all of you for sharing excellent questions and making this channel as your favorite channel thank you and all the best.